So what I've seen a lot of people do is they had payday loans or they had some high interest loans out there. What they did was they actually shut down their account that they had these loans coming out of because sometimes you had the loans coming out of the account where you hold all your money. But I have seen people shut down these accounts and they'll just get them a new new account. And then that account is going to continue to report you late, report you late, report you late. Um, so your, your credit is going to be temporarily damaged. But what you can do is double check to see if they're reporting it inaccurately. Because if they are reporting it inaccurately, which a lot of accounts is, a lot of positive accounts are reporting inaccurately, then you can get that account removed from your credit reports. Now, if they already sold it to a new company, you guys, then... You need to make sure that you're sending them a letter if they're contacting you at all, if they put on your credit reports, asking them to send you verification on the account. And then that's when a battle is going to begin in terms of them selling it to new companies and trying to continue to damage your credit. Now, I have to make sure I tread lightly on that one because... I have seen people do this a lot. I've seen a lot of people go through this. Um, some family members have... Um, went through this and it's really horrible but what i've seen them do is like i like i already told you and then when they get to the stage where they're battling the company because they want to show they want to uh come after them then ask them to send you verification on this account and if it's not reporting accurately have them um have the credit bureaus re the credit bureaus removed from your credit report so that you can move on with your life and then you don't get into situations like that now as they start selling it to the new companies um the cfpb has a new letter out that i love so much and it's going to be on my website you guys i'm gonna have a lot of free letters where you guys can just pay whatever you want i don't care if you pay 30 dollars for a letter i don't care if you pay two dollars for a letter whatever you can afford i want you to pay whatever you can pay i'm gonna have a whole list of letters there that you guys can use you guys send out that letter ask them for the proof that they need to have if they don't have the proof because they're selling it company to company they don't have the proof they can't put in your credit reports and they can't continue to come after you or try to garnish your wages and things like that because this could be a huge thing like you guys are going to really see it when everything like crumble it's going to be a huge huge thing so i just want to make sure i um I say that. And I want to also say, too, if you guys take money from anybody, you guys need to pay them back, like set up some type of plan to pay them back because you're going to be running forever. Try to run from the debts. And that's not the life that you want to live. You want to start um, saving up for your kids, um, for whatever they want to do in their future. You want to start saving up for yourself, saving up for retirement. If you spending all your time running your whole lifetime, running from debts, like there's no way you pay them off. Um there's no way you pay them off. There's no way you're going to be able to build up your future. So I don't want to get too preachy, but I wanted to make sure um, I say that, like, handle all of your debts. Whatever you got going on, just take a period. Just get everything together so that you can really soar. And I'm speaking to myself, like, this is something that's, like, something with me. If I want to do certain things, I need to make sure I start tracking it. I have to make sure I start doing it. I have to make sure I make it a habit. I don't want to be you know, dealing with old stuff, no matter what it is, I want to like go forward in it. So definitely um, hope you guys um, take that because it's easy to get out, out, got a one payday loan and get into another. Um, so that's something I wanted you guys to know.